I'm here on the ground from a highly disputed location to get the facts straight. I'm here near Avivim, on Israel's northern border with Lebanon. Behind me is the Blue Line. North of the Blue Line is the state of Lebanon. South of the Blue Line is the state of Israel. Exactly 20 years ago, in May 2000, the Israeli Defense Forces withdrew from southern Lebanon. Just before the IDF troops withdrew, the United Nations sent a team of experts to where I am now to mark our line of withdrawal on the map and to mark them behind me by these blue barrels that you can see in the background. This is the blue line. There's a lot of misinformation and confusion about what the blue line is. And it has been frequently abused by the Lebanese armed forces and Hezbollah. History can provide some clarity. In 1916, before there was a state of Israel and a state of Lebanon, the colonial powers of Britain and France signed the Sykes-Picot Agreement, which divided the Middle East between them. This was considered to be the first modern border in the region, separating the area between those two colonial powers. In 1923, British officer Lieutenant Colonel Newcomb and French officer Lieutenant Colonel Paulet convened to further map out the border running across the area from Israel all the way to Syria and the East. In 1948, Israel was attacked by six Arab armies. This was known as the Israeli War of Independence. In 1949, after the war ended, the Armistice Agreement was signed between Israel and Lebanon and the Armistice Line was drawn according to this agreement and overseen by the United Nations. In 1967, Lebanese fighter jets attacked an Israeli village which resulted in the effective nullification of the Armistice Line. During the 1970s and 80s, Israel suffered various attacks by Palestinian terrorists using southern Lebanon as their staging ground for the attacks. In 1984, after the First Lebanon War, Israel established a security zone in southern Lebanon to serve as a buffer between Israeli civilians and Palestinian and Hezbollah terror attacks. After this, Israel continued to maintain a military presence in southern Lebanon in order to defend Israel's northern towns and cities. This was until the year 2000, when the IDF exited Lebanon. Twenty years ago, in May 2000, UN Secretary General Kofi Annan confirmed to the UN Security Council that Israel had indeed completely withdrawn its forces from Lebanon and referred to this line of withdrawal as the Blue Line. The Blue Line is marked and observed by United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, called UNIFIL, with blue barrels, and is accepted and respected by both Israel and Lebanon. The fence you see behind me was built by Israel in recent years and provides security by indicating if tampered or cut. This fence was built in its entirety on the Israeli side of the Blue Line, and the UN has confirmed this many times over. In some places, such as where I'm standing now, there is a gap of even a few hundred meters between where our fence is and where the blue line is. To be honest, because of the terrain, this was the easiest way to place the fence. Israel is fully within its rights to cross the fence, bearing in mind that it doesn't cross the blue line because the fence is several meters shy of the blue line. Crossing the fence does not mean entering Lebanese territory, it only means we crossed our fence.